If you guys want to learn how to limit your FPS in any game that doesn't have an FPS cap, then this is the video for you. Let's get right into it. What is going on everybody it is once again Oda here bringing you guys a tutorial on how to limit your FPS in any game that you're playing on your PC. You can set a custom FPS limit to any game you're playing. But just for an example, I'm going to be using Fortnite. Now, as you can see in the settings here, Fortnite actually does have a frame rate limit, but it only goes 30, 60, 120, and you know, as it goes on. And you can't set a custom number. So, for example, I want my FPS on 65. So, anyways, let's get into how to do it. So, first of all, of course, minimize your game. Now, there's only going to be two things you need to download, one of which you guys probably already have, and that is WinRAR and Rivatuner Statistics Server. Both of these links will be down below in the description to download Rinrar and Rivatuner. Uh, most of you probably already have Rinrar, but in case if you don't, like I said, there's a link and you just click on one of these download links and it'll take you through that process. Now, once you have Rinrar downloaded, you're gonna wanna download Rivatuner Statistics Server. I will have the link for this down below in the description as well. Now, once you go to this website, all you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll all the way down until you see all these links right here under download locations. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna download the latest version. It'll say recommended next to it in parentheses. And as you can see, these are the version numbers. So just go down to the bottom, click on the latest one, and then it'll take you through to another website and it'll start downloading in a couple seconds. And as you can see, it started downloading and doesn't take that long to download for me it's like 30 seconds it's a really small file now once it's done downloading you can go ahead and close your browser you're not going to need that anymore go to where it downloaded and you'll see right here it says juru3d.com or however you pronounce that you'll see this file go ahead and right click it and then click here where it says extract here and then it'll start extracting it shouldn't take that long then once you've done that the only file you need out of all of these is this rtsss setup uh, these two or sorry these three right here you could just go ahead and delete now take this RTSS setup and just double click it and then this little box will pop up select the language of course select your language click OK and then click next accept the agreement click next and you can choose whether or not you want a shortcut click install and then it will start downloading now once it's done downloading you can go ahead and uncheck this show read me you don't need that and click finish now once you have it downloaded you're going to go to the bottom left of your desktop click the windows icon and it should be right there under recently added but if it's not just go ahead and search up rtss or rivetuner statistics server and as you can see, it comes up on your best match as a desktop app. So go ahead and click that. Now you'll see that there's no windows that have opened up on your desktop. And that is because it opens up on your tray. Or I don't even know what this is called. But it shows up as a, a hidden icon, I guess you could call it. Once you've clicked it, at the bottom right, go here, click this arrow. Or it'll be right here on your taskbar. And you'll see right here this little blue monitor with a 60 on it. And if you hover over it, it'll say Rivet Tuner. Just go ahead and click that. And as you can see, this window right here is what we want. Now, the first thing you're going to do that I recommend is have it start with Windows. So, of course, switch this to on. And that is just so that you don't have to go through this process every time you want to play a game. Now, by the way, the beauty of this is that you can have any game selected to any FPS limit. It could even be running at the same time. There will be no problems at all. Also, I never mentioned this, but this will actually work for any program. It doesn't even have to be a game. So if you want to limit Photoshop to 46 FPS, you could do that. Now, obviously, you would never want to do that, but I'm just using that as an extreme example to show that this will work with anything. So anyways, what you're going to do to add a program to the FPS limit is you're going to go down here to the bottom left and click add. And once you do that, it'll bring you to a file explorer. So you're going to go ahead and find the game that you want to limit the FPS on or the program, whatever it is. Now, by the way, I recommend that you have your game closed while you're selecting it just to avoid any problems. So just select the game that you want. I'm going to go ahead and find Fortnite here really quickly. I think that's it. No, it's here. Yeah. So go ahead and select the game, just go ahead and double click it or click open. And then you'll see that it's added to the list over here. And once you do that, you're going to go over here to the frame rate limit and you'll see it has a zero next to it. Just go ahead and click that and then type in whatever number you want. So for example, I want my FPS limited to 65. And then once you've put in your number, press enter and then you are pretty much done. Now, like I said, you can add this to any game you want or any program. You just click this add button and then you go through and select your program slash game and it'll work just fine now by the way you do have to have this program open while you're playing your game but like i said 
if you have start with windows on it'll literally it'll be like it's not there because it'll be minimized it won't open as a window anymore unless you click it like that also if you also if you're afraid that your game will detect this as a cheat you can go over here to stealth mode and select that to on and as you can see in game it is working perfectly you can see on the top right right next to my map my fps is at 65 just like i selected it to be but just letting you guys know if your fps limit in rivet tuner is higher than your in-game limit so for example if i have my fps in fortnite limited to 60 but rivet tuner is on 65 it'll stick with the in-game sensitivity as you can see it's on 60 but if i change it to unlimited or even if i have it on just a higher limit it'll stay at 65 just like i said it to in rivet tuner so that's just something to note in case you were struggling with that but yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video if this did help you out you all know what to do be sure to leave a like and subscribe also check out my newer videos as i do upload a lot of content including helpful tutorials like these so if you did like this video be sure to check more of my stuff out that really mean a lot but yeah guys that is it hope you enjoyed hope this helped i will see you all in my next video peace out everybody